Facts First presents The Military Diet – Lose 10 Pounds in 3 Days Day number 1 – Breakfast Breakfast is one of the most important meals on this diet because it will give you the energy that you need to get started in the morning. It will also kickstart your metabolism. On the first day, you should eat a piece of whole wheat or multigrain toast with two tablespoons of peanut butter. If you're allergic to peanuts, you can substitute that with soy butter, pumpkin butter, sunflower seed butter, or bean dip. Along with your toast, eat half of a grapefruit and drink a cup of black coffee or caffeinated tea. Unfortunately, you can't add any sugar, sweetener, or cream to your tea or coffee. While you can drink water instead of drinking coffee or tea, it's not as beneficial. Green tea has properties that can help you burn calories and black coffee can suppress your appetite. Day number one – Lunch Lunch on the first day consists of another slice of wheat or multigrain toast, this time with no peanut butter. On your lunch plate, you should also add a half cup of tuna without any mayonnaise. For your beverage, you can have a glass of water, green tea, or black coffee. If you need to season your food, you should stick with pepper, garlic salt, honey mustard, or any other low-calorie or no-calorie seasoning. Day number one – Dinner Dinner is the meal that most people on this diet look forward to the most. You can have three ounces of any type of meat that you like. Add to your plate a cup of green beans, half a banana, a small apple, and you can even have one cup of ice cream for dessert. This might seem like a big deal for some. However, it's very low in calories. Consuming fewer calories is what will help you to lose the weight. Here we are, day number two. Breakfast on day two is better than breakfast on day one. Like day one, you should start with a slice of whole grain or multigrain toast. And you can also have one whole egg. You can eat it hard-boiled or scrambled. If you're going to scramble your eggs, you can't use milk. You can also fry your egg. However, you can't use any type of oil. On your breakfast plate, you can also add half a banana. At lunchtime on day two, you should have one cup of cottage cheese. If you don't like cottage cheese, you can replace that with a slice of cheddar cheese. On the plate, you should also include a hard-boiled egg and five saltine crackers. Day number two, dinner. Well, this is another day where you're going to look forward to dinner all day long. On your dinner plate, start with two hot dogs without the bun. You can also add a half cup of carrots, a cup of broccoli, and half a banana. Your vegetables should be boiled, steamed, or eaten raw. Your meat should be baked or grilled. You can even have a half cup of vanilla ice cream for dessert. If you're getting tired of vanilla ice cream, you can substitute it for a half cup of apple juice or a cup of vanilla or strawberry-flavored almond milk. Day number three breakfast. Finally, day three, it's your last day. Your breakfast plate should include five saltine crackers, one slice of cheddar cheese, and one small apple. If you're tired of saltine crackers, you can replace them with a rice cake for each saltine cracker. If you're not a big fan of cheese, you can replace that with a piece of ham, an egg, cabbage, or soy cheese. Also, be sure to drink your green tea or black coffee. At lunch, on this third day, it's going to be quite small. On your plate, you should have a piece of whole wheat or multigrain toast and one hard-boiled egg. If you're getting bored with the eggs, you can replace that with either a cup of milk, two pieces of bacon, or a chicken wing. The reason you're consuming less food is that you need to gradually reduce the number of calories that you consume so that you can lose more weight. And finally, dinner on the third day. It's your last meal on this diet. On your plate, you should have one cup of tuna, a half of banana, and a cup of vanilla ice cream. Sorry, this time, no substitutions available. Here are a few additional tips for you. This military diet it can help you lose 10 pounds in three days. Now, if you don't lose your desired amount of weight, well, you should diet for these three days and then take four days off, and then you can do it again until you reach your desired weight. Since you're taking in minimal calories during these three days, you need to avoid any intense workouts. A 30-minute walk, that's all you need. In fact, it might be all you can handle. You should also avoid snacking in between meals. If you want to be successful on this diet, you have to stick to only the three specific meals each day. Sneaking in a snack in between meals, that's going to increase your daily calorie count and it's going to throw off the entire diet. If you want to be successful on the three-day military diet, you'll need to have enough willpower 
to stick to the recommended diet and not add any additional foods. Subscribe for more! If you decide to do this, come back and let us know in the comments how you did.